In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The agent of the Lord declared unto Mary. Conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of death. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be done unto me according to thy will. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of death. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace in our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, Christ yes. thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us, and, and may the souls, souls of the faithful departed, the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in this day of battle. Be Blessed our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God restrain him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heaven heavenly host, host, by the power of God, thrust down into hell, Satan, Satan, and all the evil, evil spirits who wander through the world in the reign of souls. Amen. Angel of God, my Amen. guardian dear, whom God's love commits me, Ever this day be at my side, the light and God, rule and guide. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, sisters and brothers. Our entrance hymn number 59, number 59, Though the Mountains May Fall. Though the mountains may fall and the hills turn to dust, yeah, the love of the Lord will stand as a shelter for all who will call on his name, sing the praise and the glory of God. Could the Lord ever leave you? Could the Lord forget his love? Though the mother forsake her child, he will not abandon you. Though the mountains may fall and the hills turn to dust, yet yeah, the love of the Lord will stand as a shelter for all who will call on his name, sing the praise and the glory of God. Should you turn and forsake him, he will gently call your name. Should you wander away from him, he will always take you back. Though the mountains may fall and the hills turn to dust, yet yeah, the love of the Lord will stand as a shelter for all who will call on his name, sing the praise and the glory of God. Good morning to everybody. Good morning. And let us bless our God in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters, my brothers, let us now call to mind our sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, 
Lord, have mercy. Christ, 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 have mercy. Lord, 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 have mercy. May God Almighty have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us adore the Lord, the King who is to come. Thursday week one, awake lyre and harp, I will awake the dawn. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy, for in you my soul has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge, till the storms of destruction pass by. I call to God the Most High, to God who has always been my help. May he send from heaven and save me, and shame those who assail me. May God send his truth and his love. My soul lies down among lions who would devour the sons of men. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue a sharpened sword. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. They laid a snare for my steps, my soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my path, but fell in it themselves. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. I will sing, I will sing your praise. Awake, my soul, awake, lyre and harp, I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. Among the nations I will praise you, for your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Awake, awake lion, lion heart, I, I will, will awake, awake the, the dawn. dawn. Thus says the Lord, my people shall be filled with my good things. O nations, hear the word of the Lord, proclaim it to the far off coast. Say, he who scattered Israel will gather him, and guard him as a shepherd guards his flock. For the Lord has ransomed Jacob, has saved him from an overpowering hand. They will come and shout for joy on Mount Zion. They will stream to the blessings of the Lord, to the corn, the new wine, and the oil, to the flocks of sheep and the herds. Their life will be like a watered garden. They will never be weary again. Then the young girls will rejoice and will dance. The men, young and old, will be glad. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console them, give gladness for grief. The priest I will again feed with plenty, and my people shall be filled with my blessings. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thus, Thus says the Lord, Lord my, my people, people shall, shall be filled, filled with, with my good, good things. things. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, true pole of the earth, the great king's city, God in the midst of his citadels has shown himself its stronghold. For the kings assembled together, together they advanced. They saw, at once they were astounded, dismayed they fled in fear. A trembling seized them there, like the pangs of birth, by the east wind you have destroyed the ships of Tharsis. As we have heard, so we have seen in the city of our God, in the city of the Lord of hosts, which God upholds forever. O God, we ponder your love within your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. With justice your right hand is filled. Mount Zion rejoices. The people of Judah rejoice at the sight of your judgments. 
Walk through Zion, walk all round it, count the number of its towers, review all its ramparts, examine its castles. That you may tell the next generation that such is our God, our God forever and always. It is he who leads us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The, the Lord, Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the, in the city, city of, of our God. God. Let us pray. Stir up your power, O Lord, and come to our help with mighty strength, that what our sins impede, the grace of your mercy may hasten through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. That day, this song will be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city to guard us. He has set wall and rampart about us. Open the gates, let the upright nation come in. She, the faithful one, whose mind is steadfast, who keeps the peace because she trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is the everlasting rock. He has brought low those who lived high up in the steep citadel. He brings it down, brings it down to the ground, flings it down in the dust. The feet of the lowly, the footsteps of the poor, trample on it. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Respond to the psalm. Blessed in the name of the Lord is he who comes. Blessed in the name of the Lord is he who comes. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good for his love has no end. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in men. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. Blessed is the name of the Lord. The Lord who comes. Open to me the gates of holiness. I will enter and give thanks. This is the Lord's own gate where the just may enter. I will thank you for you have given answer and you are my savior. Blessed is the name of the Lord, the people who comes. O Lord, grant us salvation. O Lord, grant success. Blessed in the name of the Lord is he who comes. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord God is our light. Blessed in the name of the Lord is the one who comes. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Shout with a loud voice, joyful messenger to Jerusalem. Here is the Lord God coming with power. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, It is not those who say to me, Lord, Lord, who will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the person who does the will of my Father in heaven. Therefore, Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a sensible person who built his house on rock. Rain came down, floods rose, gales blew and hurled themselves against that house and it did not fall. It was founded on rock. But everyone who listens to these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a stupid person who built his house on sand. Rain came down, floods rose, gales blew and struck that house and it fell, and what a fall it had. 
the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So the very first thing that Jesus said, it is not those who say, Lord, Lord, but those who do the will of, of his Father. That's what is important. It tells us then that Jesus realized that you're going to always have true disciples and fake disciples. True disciples and fake disciples. Now, fake disciples, and while they, they call on the name of the Lord, no? but they will not keep his commandments. They will go to church, very religious, partaking of the sacraments, but they're going to still build their lives on sinking ground. They follow either their own morality or the morality of the secular world. And obviously, such a life cannot stand the test of time. No? And the social ills and the broken lives all around us indicate that many people who call themselves Christians are living fake discipleship and are building on sand. No? Not, no, not, again, it's not that they don't like the wisdom and the teaching of Jesus. They will tell you these are wonderful ideas, but they do not inspire in them any action. Now, we have to be afraid that we are not among people like that because we will still have no part with God. But rather, we want to be disciples who build our lives on the rock, the solid foundation of the word. Now, in the Old Testament, God is that everlasting rock. In fact, that's what we are told in the first reading. And in Psalms 18, too, we are told that he is our rock of refuge. And he comes to us in the New Testament in Jesus, who is a solid rock, the word. Paul lets us know that, and again, this is trying to tell us that there can't be any other foundation. If Jesus is not our foundation, we are gone. No one can lay a foundation other than the one which is laid, that is Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. And he himself said, apart from me, you cannot do anything. Apart from me, you are nothing. No? So we have to take that into consideration. And, and so those of us who truly accept Jesus like that, we realize that we must center our lives on him. No? Because he's a secure foundation for everything that we do. Our personal life, our family life, our community life, and our church life. Once again, as I said often, there are many people who like to think that, well, as, is every man to his own order as long as I don't do that. That doesn't make any sense. In, 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 in that case, you are a flip-flop disciple. No? Not sure where you stand. I stand over here, but it is okay if you stand over there. Now, God does not want fake or flip-flop disciples, but he wants true disciples, people who recognize the truth and speak the truth and try to convince people to live accordingly, to live accordingly. So that, and, and so then we build everything, everything must be built up on Christ. Our personal life, our family life, our church life, our community life. Now, we encounter the solid rock of the word in the scripture and in the sacraments. No? And as long as we build our lives on Jesus, there's no reason to worry. That's what Jesus is talking about when he says, God takes care of the sparrows. No? What about us? But he's only taking care of us the way he takes care of us is to give us that solid foundation. But if you reject it, 
then there's reason to worry. Once we build upon it, there's no reason to worry. No? So let us build our lives on Jesus. And one of the things that we recognize that once we're good disciples, we realize that the teaching of Jesus, it inspires us to do good all the time. And not for some people, but for everyone. So it's like, it makes us creative. How to do good, no? How to live a godly life of love and compassion and caring. Once we build ourselves on Jesus, the solid rock, the solid foundation. And therefore, all of us must say together, let us choose Jesus and save our life. Let us exhort others to choose the Lord and save their lives. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us pray. The response is, be near us, Lord, today. Be near us, Lord, today. Let the heavens open and the skies rain down the just one. Let the earth bring forth Christ, who is the wisdom and power of God. Be near, be near us, us, Lord, Lord today. today. Lord Jesus Christ, you have called us into your kingdom. May we enter in and live according to your call. Be near us, Lord, today. The world does not know you. Show yourself in our midst to all our brothers and sisters. Be near, Be near us, Lord, Lord today. today. We thank you, Lord, for all that we have. Move us to give of our plenty to those who have little. Be near Be us, Lord, today. today. We look for your coming, Lord Jesus. When you knock, may we be found watching in prayer and rejoicing in praise. Be near Be us, Lord, today. today. And let us lift up Francis and Jason, our bishops, praying that they will always remind God's people that true disciples do not only know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, but also imitate his good example. We pray. Be near us, Lord, today. Lord Jesus, you are the source of health and healing. You know the pain and burdens of the sick. Let your healing power surround them and restore their health, strength, and peace. We pray. Be near us, Lord, today. Lord, grant our petitions and make us ever more open and obedient to your word, we pray. Be near us, Lord, today. May the grace of the Holy Eucharist strengthen our desire to surrender to God's will. Doors of the word are not hearers only. And we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread. We offer you fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Thanks be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, May we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, God forever. forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by your Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight today be pleasing to you, Lord our God. Wash us, Lord, from our iniquity. Cleanse us from our sin.
Pray, my sisters, pray, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name. Our good, good and the of all his holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord our God, these offerings we make, gathered from among your many gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with and your spirit. Spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ Jesus, our Lord and God. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy. Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, a font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them, like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it, to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim your death, death o Lord, and profess your resurrection. Until, until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jason, our Bishop, all the religious, the clergy, and your entire people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. My dear friends, let us now call out to God, O Father, giving God thanks and praise for sending Jesus to be our rock of refuge on which we can build and have a wonderful life now and be with God in heaven at the parousia. And so we dare say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread and, and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for Lord, the kingdom, the power, and the glory. And glory are yours now now and Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your holy will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. spirit. Moved by God's love, let us share with one another the divine peace. The peace of God. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace, Lamb of God. Grant us your peace, Lamb of God. My sisters, my brothers, behold Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sins of all the world. Blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ be for us a healing remedy and keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
I am the vine, and you are the branches. Abide in me, as I in you. We shall be one in love. I give my life like wine to drink. I give my life like bread to eat. I give myself like food for you. I give myself like food for you. I am the vine, and you are the branches. Abide in me as I in you. We shall be one in love. Many the grains, but one in bread. Many the grapes, but one in wine. Many are you, but one in me. Many are you, but one in me. I am the vine, and you are the branches. Abide in me, as I in you. We shall be one in love. We shall be one in love. Let us, dear friends, make the art of spiritual communion. My Lord Jesus, our everlasting rock, our rock of refuge, we believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament of the Eucharist. And we believe, Lord, that you love us with a love that has no end and therefore will not leave us orphans, but stay with us until the end of time. Lord Jesus, we love you above all all else and desire to receive you in our hearts and souls and minds but lord at this moment we cannot receive you sacramentally so come to us in a spiritual manner come lord and make your home in us in our hearts in our souls in our minds embrace us and give us that blessed assurance that we belong to you and teach us how to embrace you and unite ourselves wholly and completely to you lord never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. I will wait for the Lord who saves me. I will hope in him, for he is coming. 
Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior in the house of David, his servant. As he promised by the lips of holy ones, those who are his prophets from of old. A Savior who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham, our father, to grant us that free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins. The loving kindness of the heart of our God who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will, he will give, give light, light to those in darkness, darkness those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I will wait for the Lord who saves me. I will hope in him, for, for he, is he is coming. coming. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord our God, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may God Almighty bless you and keep you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord with our lives. And have a wonderful day, my friends. And don't forget that today at the 10 o'clock Mass, we will be doing the anointing of the sick after Mass. Number 309, 309. The right hand of God. The right hand, hand of, of God, God is writing, writing in our land, writing, writing with, with power and, and with love. Our conflicts and our fears, our triumphs and our fears are recorded by the right hand of God. The right hand of God is pointing in our land, pointing the way we must go. So clouded is the way, so easily we stray, but we are guided by the right hand of God. The right hand of God is striking in our land, striking out at envy, hate, and greed, or selfishness and lust, or pride and deeds unjust, are destroyed by the right hand of God.